Hey class, Mr. G here. Today we're gonna to be talking about, it's a washi tape illustration board design from one of our teachers in the county. So I'm gonna let her introduce the whole project and get, get her two cents on this. So, Miss I. Okay, yay. What's up? Hi, <laughs> thank you for having me. This is gonna be fun. I am gonna go ahead and put her Instagram here and it'll be later in the video also, so that go there, get some, get some fresh ideas and some other stuff to check out. Yeah, because I also do, um, I do digital design as well. Digital I design. Everything up, but uh, digital character design, I just recently bought a Cintiq, and I have been working on getting my digital art confidence up because it is a big difference. From well, it's handy right now, especially because we're going to be out for... Two weeks? Three? I'm not sure yet. It's at least it's at least two weeks because yeah. of the virus. But uh, so this will be just an ongoing thing. So when this was filmed, we were still healthy people. Never gonna have toilet paper. Yeah. Or go ramen. To the store. <laughs> no rice. We got lucky. Miss I, what did you, what project are we gonna talk about today? Um. All right. So we're gonna talk about washi tape illustrations, where we take uh, designs and we create characters yeah. and we cut out the designs of the outfit and use the tape to emphasize the outfit and the thing is we don't color our characters because we want the tape to shine through and we don't want it to clash or overpower with extra color yeah because you were working on these i saw them and like i love the concept alone but then to use the washi tape as another element to create and to go over the designs i think is really nice how how did this idea come about not necessarily this drug i love this drug yeah like uh, so, so i saw it um on instagram one day okay i saw an artist like she was making kimonos um and she would take it, hers was very like misty tape so it was like watercolor print tape and and it had all these like very subtle and nice patterns in it Ooh. and she would make a uh, little little drawings they're about the same size as like my little five by fives um yeah by the same time as my five by fives and she'd um make little characters they were very simplistic and she'd cover the tape with their uh, on their kimonos and she'd cut it out and then she might watercolor their skin and then she'd ink it out with a uh, any type of uh pen that she used um got it there we go and uh i saw it and i was like i can do that yes and, yeah and so i got like 12 of these tiny ones okay and just drew characters and got the first roll of washi tape i could find at michael's and just kind of put it down going through and the process kept going and making it more detailed and when i i got to my second one and found a gold foil uh washi tape mm -hmm. and i loved it because i was like oh, it's gold <laughs> i was like it sparkles um and i was like i i always liked fashion I always like whenever I drew my characters when I was working on character design for uh, comic books I would always do while I'm working on the expressions I always do face neck waist so I can draw my shirts and and I think it adds to the expression too so then I can like write stuff on the shirt or like make a pattern and it emphasizes like this character's into punk rock this character's into preppy stuff and I get to play yeah, with it definitely because th that leads into better character development and then also frees up your brain I think for ideas to go yeah. in different ways because then you could do series of different stuff yeah really easily and then once I realized oh this could be fashion based and I also don't have to I no longer have to draw all these patterns anymore because let me tell you the most annoying part is going she's gonna have a cheetah print shirt on and then I have to draw every speckled dot of cheetah print and I'm like I'm never drawing cheetah print again yeah never never um, and then I'll do it like two weeks later on another character. So it's learning how to make sure the characters are still visible, but with a background and make sure they don't get overpowered. And like the big thing with this is I chose paint and I chose watercolor because I've worked with marker, I've worked with color pencil, and both of those I like to use poppy colors, especially with marker. Um, and I didn't want it to overpower my wash tape. Gotcha. So I had to use something. I'm like, it's a little muted. I can still control it. So I used, instead of just blatant watercolor, I used watercolor pencils. So that way I can control where certain things go. I can add shadows if I need to. Um, and then the tape is not overpowered. Like this is clearly in the background, but you still have to look at them no matter where you look. Oh, definitely. Because I'm noticing that first, let's go into materials because you started talking about the materials. So color pencils, uh, watercolor pencils and the washi tape, uh, do you ever go with Coptic markers for color, the color aspects, or would you, like, what would you suggest? 
because we got like I'm going with matte board as the base. Mm -hmm. Talk about like what materials would be necessary. So necessary, obviously a pencil um, and pens. So any kind of I use uh, Micron, but that's just because I was I was raised in it, born in it, bred in it. Yeah, I know. And it was just what I use. Um, and a sharpie can work yeah a sharpie is just as good uh but also keep in mind those sharpies need to be of different size and um, the microns are like definitive name brand for these kinds of yeah. like it's a nib is what the end of it's called um but prismacolor also makes a really good one and then mm -hmm. sharpie like if you go around and look through like office depot you can find sharpies at like a fine tip sharpie you know also yeah. work just fine yeah um and sometimes i use those especially when i have to do a lot of ink and if you are more advanced uh high school kids trusted well-behaved middle school kids i use an exacto knife to cut out all of my designs but the thing is like uh the fabric designs yeah the, all the, fabric tape, designs. Yeah. Um, the thing is the difficult part of that is you have to have a, a very confident estimation of where your clothes are because yeah. some tape is not see-through i can follow the outline of the arm and then i won't have to necessarily worry about chopping off you know a shirt or a shoulder yeah. or a neckline and I it it might seem weird but I would suggest you have a backup of blades Always. yeah and even if you're like cuz cuz uh even if you're not just doing this like any form of cutout it's more dangerous to have a dull blade than it is to have a sharp one like a brand new sharp one a dull blade is easier to catch like it'll catch on this illustration board and it I haven't gotten cut thank god ever but also I take my time when I do it. I like, I go slow. I, and I know it, at first it was very difficult for me to do it, to, to go slow, take my time because I wanted to have those smooth lines and I wanted it to be precise. Um, but fun part about ink, that covers up everything. Yes, it does. So, <laughs> and a lot of times when I started, they would, everyone would ask, how do you get the, uh, like, how do you know where the, the the exacto knife is supposed to go. How do you know where to stop when the clothes are? And I was like, I don't. <laughs> like, I just kind of. The the easiest part is to draw it and then immediately put the tape down, so yeah. it's fresh in your brain, and you've got it. Like, you have it. Because you could totally do this in in a one hour class, like a forty five minute time frame. You could sketch it out for ten, and then just spend the rest of the spend the next twenty minutes ish compiling everything together that's including set out time to set up materials and collect materials at the end too so yep. definitely works um could we use magazines just the same and i'm looking at it because i was as i'm studying the different illustrations i'm thinking about my own shirt like especially because i got this checker pattern mm -hmm. if you're cutting these strips of color these strips of pattern shape and then overlay another pattern because when it's stretched out this line just continues on but when it's wrinkled the yeah. lines are off so yeah. actually having these swatches, these smaller bits kind of overlapping, would that also have the same effect? With magazine, it would be a little more difficult with magazines only because you want the tape to outline the clothes. Like you want the tape to show where the clothes are and to be like the key, the key thing that people look at when they see it. So what I usually do to emphasize wrinkles and folds is I don't, sometimes I layer the tape, but not often. Most of the time, I, I'll i place the tape down and I'll layer it over with pen. Okay, because yeah, I'm, I'm noticing the pen work on some of these. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes I'll, and it's it's a little nerve wracking because you don't want to mess up because you're like, this is it, this, there's no redoing this. I can't take this tape off again. Right. But if your tape is thin, you can still slightly see through and see where the, the pencil mark is. Plus, you don't really want them to see the pencil mark because now you're right. like, well, now you see where I started, so that kind of takes away the cool tape effect. Now, what I have been doing is trying to make a little kid version of it. And I don't have it because it was a spring of the moment kind of thing where I would take, uh, I took duct tape. One was a brightly colored yellow and the other one was a monster duct tape. And I just, uh, I placed like maybe a two inch, not three inch, a two, three, four inch strip on a piece of paper. And I layered them down and I cut out a shirt. And then I cut out some shorts with the uh, monster tape. And then I took it and I glued it onto some construction paper and I drew a character around it. So I did the opposite of what I normally do with my washi tape is instead of drawing the character first and then putting the washi tape down, I put the tape down first and drew the character out of the tape. So good middle school, high school tip would be to 
this process is perfectly fine for them drawing the design first and then using all the colors to fill in the design yeah but elementary opposite make these shapes first yeah okay and then that introduces them to how geometric shapes turn into a full image so like squares and rectangles together make a shirt uh uh, uh what is it polygon yeah polygon. Uh, polygon and some squares together will make a short make shorts and then they get to have that opportunity to combine those different shapes together and see how it makes a full image. And then once you place it, you've got they get to pick their color tape. Um, you can even do it with washi tape. Now, it's going to be kind of expensive, but you could do it. And it would still have the same effect. And then they could still go, well, I choose, I, I picked this tape uh, and for the shirt and this tape for the pants. And I'm like, okay, well, what would that style or that fashion design for that, those shirts or that pant, those pants, what kind of character would wear that? And then that encourages them to go, oh, uh, she, he would look like this, and he'd have long hair, this, down the third. Definitely cool for storytelling purposes. If we could tie an artist to this, what, and I always like to pick modern artists myself, could you think of a modern artist that we could tie to this design? Okay, but he does portraits of people, and he gives them like a, a, a bright uh, floral background. You want to look it up real quick? I do. Because I'm going to look up, the one that I was going to say is, when, I'm, when I first saw this, I was like, this reminds me of Mark Wagner, who uses money, he uses currency, cuts out designs of currency. I'll show you him. Okay. And he makes portraits that have a very heavily political slant to them. Oh, he did the portraits. portraits. That's portraits. Okay, so it was painting. Um, but yeah, his work reminded me of this. Definitely, yeah. There's... Yeah, the way that the color and the lines, mm -hmm. there's a juxtaposition between the character itself is muted. Mm -hmm. Like the skin is muted, the, the lines of the body are muted, but it's the background and the clothing that really pop. Pops. There's a structure yeah. to them. That's that's That was the work I saw and I connected most with this. Title. Yeah, definitely. So the way that I always wrap up the video is we take care of the homework, which is like, subscribe, share on all the various platforms, make sure we get the message out. Uh, if you have a question, comment, or concern, raise your hand down in the comments below so we can answer questions. Um, if I have questions, I'll show them her way or figure out how to answer those questions because some things I'm not going to have an answer to. Um, other than that, I will see you guys next class. Later, Thanks guys. Thanks for having me. Yay! Ooh. Oh, I so want to... Oh. It's, it's like old school vinyl. Yep. And there's, oh. That's what I do. There's like five different projects I want to do with that now. Ah. Oh. So is that like poster board? No, this is a record sleeve. It, this is an actual record sleeve. Yeah, I, I got like a little order of uh, 25 of these and then I drew some roses on it and then I cut it out and I cut out the illustration board to be a the right size. smaller yeah. than the actual um, record and then I Covered it with tape and put it in here. This is the first time I did it, so this was this was a test. <laughs> oh, there's so much like, cause like I'm everything that I'm looking at. There's so many projects that would be like, we're gonna do self portraits, we're gonna do portrait study, we're gonna do um, your favorite artist, and I'm thinking like all these different things that you put on the board. But now with the window design, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's this, like this. I made up. I didn't see this anywhere. I no, just thought about it. That, I, was I like, love that. I want to do flowers, and I was like, but I don't want to draw a bunch of flowers. And I have to cut them all alone. And I was like, what can I do? And then I was like, record players. You can slide stuff into record players. And I was like, I can slide illustration for into record players. And I was like, I got it. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm young, so I'm good. I'm young. I'm I'm not in the age, I'm not in the scary age bracket yet. You're right. We're good. We'll be fine. You'll be fine too, probably. Even if you'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be. Everybody's gonna be fine. Yeah. We're all gonna be fine.